my adulting is done right now. I am currently on my way to Tickville. Uh, Steve-O's already been out here, so I know the roads are somewhat passable. I just hit the gravel, so we're gonna find out. Honestly, these are the best these gravel roads have looked in a long time. So far, so good. We'll see what the other road to Tickville looks like because I'll tell you what, that road before was almost impassable. We'll see. Oh boy. Road looks pretty bad. But I mean, it looks passable ish. Right? We're doing it. Steve, I'm rolling up on his car now. But yeah, baby. She's dirty, boys. She's dirty. I'm sorry, baby. Some boot that I can use out here, and it's that's my bogs. I love my keens, but they're not gonna make it. They wouldn't survive out here. Not in this, not in the mud. Alrighty, I'm out here with Steve-O. Whoa, blind! We are heading to Tickville. For the first time in like a year. Check out this bag, man. That bag is so awesome. And that bag's got a cool story. But it ain't mine to share, but look at that thing. Yeah. It's a Badland Sacrifice. LS. LS. It's nice. Anyway, here we are. We're trudging through this muck, which this is decent. It's going to get worse when we get up here. So we'll see you in just a few. So I said... My Keens would not have made it. Coming over here. This isn't too bad. It's a little drier. Got these big old Sasquatch looking feet now. <laughs> so do you. All right. We are entering Tickville. However, Tickville is going to seem pretty sparse just because of all the flooding. You guys will recognize it once we get here. Here's where uh, here's where Steve-O usually hangs his hammock up. Looks good. Over here is where, where I normally hang. The crazy thing about this is, is like all this, all this debris back here, that well, the whole wall of stuff that used to be back there is gone. The water pushed it all back. Yeah, you're not really gonna be able to see. Here's the headstone to our fire pit sticking, to, wow, that's it. sticking out. So this sand here is probably six, six to eight inches deep. Yeah. It was before, as long as our rocks are down there. So far, yeah, our rocks are there. Actually, they are there. And uh, right there's the river. Way down there. Ain't that far. <laughs> but then again, actually, we're used to seeing like we're used to there. seeing it way up here. So, so it's actually way down there, huh? Compared to what it has been, yeah, all year. Yep. Here we go. All right, we're gonna get set up at Tickville. Gosh, it's like coming home, isn't it, man? <laughs> it's been a long time. It's been a long time. We're gonna get our get our stuff hung up here. You didn't lose a tree, did you? Where you hang? No. You're still there. Yeah. Cool. All right. Here we go.
one tigress. This is a poncho sleeping bag. They say it's like the, it's the rock is what it is. ROC poncho. It's an insulated poncho sleeping bag. And I'm going to use it as an under quilt. It has hookups for that. So I'll show you guys that. It's pretty cool. Um, Dorian used it as a sleeping bag and he absolutely loved it. I'm going to use it as a under quilt and the hammock. I'll show you guys once I get it set up and uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm actually going to use this and uh, probably not even a, a sleeping pad. Just my other one tigress zero degree sleeping bag. We'll see. What, what better way to test it out, right? All right, so in order to keep this from sliding down on these loops like this, what I do is I grab this, I give it a turn like so, take my finger, grab this end here, and pull it through. Make a nice little loop, I just stick a twig in there. Good as gold. See, here's another one over here on the other side I did. All right, so there is the quilt mode with Steve-O's stick there. <laughs> so let me show you what this quilt mode looks like. Um, it's on bungee. I actually ran uh, shop cords through here, so I have to worry about stressing it too much. And uh, take off my boots here. I don't want to get the inside all muddy and mucky, right? hop and fall on my face is what I'm going to do. Okay, so anyway, there we go. So once I get in like this, and I get all adjusted, if I want, oh, it's nice. And I believe there should be some some sag underneath so that way it'll uh, keep the air, the warmth kind of locked in. But the cool thing is, is there's also these little buckles that once I am in, I could kind of buckle this up and pull them and kind of keep it even tighter. So that way I know it's not gonna really kind of fall off of me. So there's a buckle here and there should be, hey Steve, well, there's a buckle above me, isn't there? Are there three buckles or two? Just this buckle here, I, your... I know there's, huh? You talking about your little toggle? Yeah, there's another buckle right here, right? Okay, so there's two buckles. So there's one down there and one up here. I was thinking there's three, but not bad. I think there is one right there. Yeah, but so you can put these on and uh, they'll just kind of help keep it from Maybe falling off, slipping off, whatever, you know, maybe the issue. Kind of help trap in some warmth. So the goal tonight is I'm sleeping like this. Nothing in here, uh, hopefully. And uh, my, I'll be sleeping on the, on the diagonal though, like this. And uh, just my zero degree sleeping bag. And uh, that's probably gonna be it. <laughs> Oh, my little pillow, my little thermorest pillow. But, yeah. I'm interested to give it a shot. I'm not going to put my uh, shot cords through the net tonight. Just because I'm probably going to leave this open. And uh, I am going to put my tarp overhead to keep the frost off me in the morning because it's cold. Taking off my boots right now to get into the hammock that is cold. I do have my Thermarest Neo Air insulated sleeping pad. I'm gonna keep this down here on the ground just in case it does get super cold tonight. It is going to get cold overnight. I'm not, I'm not concerned about the cold. I'm concerned about me getting cold. And if I do get cold, I will get out of my hammock and I'll air this up and uh, put that underneath me just to be safe. But um, 
Until that moment comes though, I am going to just use this and my uh, Azura Degree sleeping bag. It's good to know because I was really worried about you. I'm glad you were worried about me, but I wanted to say that in case people were like, you're an idiot going out there. I do have a backup plan. And I am an idiot. <laughs> so I'm gonna leave this zipper here in case I need to close it up in the middle of the night. The zipper wasn't exactly the easiest thing to do. I don't know if maybe I just don't have it lined up all the way or whatever else, but I do have it lined up now with my, my cold, numb fingers, so. But at any rate, I've got the zipper up here. It will go into cocoon mode. I'm pretty excited about that. Check it out. That's pretty sweet. But I'm not sure if I'm going to need cocoon mode. But we'll see. So that's just another added bonus, I think. I do have my sleeping bag facing the other direction in here. Facing this way tonight. I'll do that. This beaver is probably about 25, 30 foot from us. Keeps coming on shore and jumping back in the water. <laughs> yeah, swat in the water. I told Steve, if I wake up in the middle of the night with a beaver chewing on me, I'd be pretty pissed. <laughs> and uh, the last time I used it, I used it in this, <laughs> in this position with a transier burner in there and then I put the top part on. And I'm not gonna lie, it was a little difficult to get the uh, the burner out, but I was fortunate enough though that I burned all the alcohol out of it while I was doing it, so it wasn't like I was trying to, to put the stove out or anything. All right, so this time what I'm gonna do is I'm not out here on the river, so we're just, we're on sand. I'll make sure I have a nice flat area before I light the stove up. That'd be really nice. Okay. So, see the stove light here. Give it a moment to prime. I'm actually gonna cover it up because the cool thing about this little stove is it'll also act as a windscreen and help that chamber get warmer faster once the stove prime because it's in the twenties right now. Oh, did you see that? It just popped. It was priming. Yep. Still was primed. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and set this right up on top there. I can do this one handed, we're about to find out. There we go. And that's it. Let this water boil for a while. We should be good as gold. Tuck it in. Tuck it in for the night, right? <laughs> Put that lid on top of it. I have a, just a tiny bit of the, the corner there opened up. That's it. I'm loving this little stove. 
Got a nice little bubble going on. So while my food was cooking over here, Steve-O was cooking over there. I was just finishing setting up, setting up camp. This is basically the essentials of what I brought. I got my tea, my alcohol, my water, stove, pot, and then my kitchen sink as I always called it. I'm gonna check this, see how well this is doing. Let's see. You just pull here, turn it into a bowl. Oh man, that looks good. So I don't wanna get rid of that garbage, I wanna keep that garbage all together. <laughs> and knock that right into the fire. So I'm gonna, uh... Oh, Steve has my tool. That's all right. I've got this right here. Easy peasy. Cool thing is, is the stove got hot. No warping. Stove has been an absolute. Yep. No warping. Everything looks nice and solid. It's been a joy testing out so far. All right. Let's take a look at this. Ooh, yeah. Should we give it a go? Let's give it a shot. It was warm. Mm. Ooh, that's good. Definitely hot. What are you making, Steve? Just ramen. Rocking out the ramen. <laughs> Sounded good after I decided that. <laughs> I haven't had ramen in such a long time. It's so good though. I like to make ramen and then like boil a couple hard boiled eggs with it. Yeah. Pretty good. Add some hot sauce. What? Wearing these insulated pants that my wife got me. They're a Wrangler AT, ATG, and they're nice. But I was just—I asked Steve what the temperature was. I walked over to my uh, to my pack. My uh, thermometer says it's 23 degrees. Weather says it's 31, 30 degrees. My thermometer was just sitting on the ground, so that's probably why it was reading so cold. But it feels good. Like I don't—I don't even feel like it's like that it's below freezing, do you, Steve? But at ease. But I'm also sitting next to a roaring fire, too. I'm hanging out here on the edge by the, by the river. It's nice. Down and get in this thing. It's not super late, but Steve and I, we've been <laughs> We've been at work since 5 a.m. Awake since 4? Or before? Yeah, I wake, I wake up at uh, 3.15. So, yep. So, uh, I'll be back when I'm in here because you ain't watching me strip down. <laughs> Steve Rose out there. Burning stuff. <laughs> but, uh, I'm laying in in the hammock it's kind of a wicked cool view though the 
the shock cords. Now, so if I want now, I can reach down here and pull this up when I go to bed tonight and kind of cocoon myself. But if you can see, I've got plenty of gap here with this thing going all the way underneath me. My butt's not cold at all. I'm not getting a draft anywhere near me. Feels really good. Feels nice. It's comfortable. I'm actually, you can't, I don't know if you can really tell, but I'm sleeping on the diagonal here. Really kind of straight. Feels nice and comfy. But I'm gonna chill here and end up going to bed. Cause I'm tired. I need mean, what time is it, Steve? Yeah, it's not even late, but whatever. I want to get some sleep. Plus, I want to get this thing tested out. Like I said, if it doesn't work, like if I start getting cold butt, I've got a sleeping pad um, underneath my hammock on the ground. It's not open yet. It's still in the bag, but there's nothing here. Just me and, me and my sleeping bag here. And there's the inside of the, the hammock, so. Cool, cool. See you guys in the morning. My bro Migo Steve is up. Morning, Steve. I slept way too good, I think. It's like 8.30. Wow. Sleeping bag, poncho, under quilt. It's awesome. I love how bunch is around me. I. I mean, granted, I, I did have a zero degree sleeping bag, but no cold butt. Nothing like that, there's nothing else. Just be a bag. My pillow. The sleeping bag and then this, uh, this one tigress poncho cover. I use this under quilt, kinda, under quilt slash, um, I don't know, what, what, what would I call this? Not a burrito, but what is it? it fruit roll-up. Fruit roll-up. Yep. All right, I'm gonna get make some tea. So here's a better look at the one tigress sleeping bag, quilt, poncho, sleeping bag, Whatever you want to call it. Super multi purpose. And there is my sleeping pad. I never did use it. It's nice. Heck yeah, it's really good. Way better than I thought it was going to be. frozen it's just a key titanium 450 milliliter the old mug with the lid 
if you're a tea drinker and you want to steep your tea in the winter time this is a really good little cup to have had it about two years now it definitely needs to see more use because i'm kind of stubborn setting what i use but that was the purpose of me buying this That's an English breakfast tea and whole milk. People ask me quite a bit what I drink when I'm drinking my tea. This is it. My nose is red, apparently I'm chilly. Hey, negative 40. <laughs> But wow, this is like we were just talking about that. <laughs> we did a we did a a tarp camp. It was like negative forty degrees out, and we took tarps up and made shelters. And dude, we were so cold. We were talking about how miserable we were because the, with the wind chill, it was so bad. Man, it was so bad. But it was fun. It was a great memory. It made a good video. <laughs> You remember that? Like, I remember my sleeping bag was stuck to the ground because my uh, sleeping bag came my, off over my uh, my pad, and I had to peel it my off the ground. Steaks are still up there. Your steak, your tent steaks are still, steaks up, there. Are still up there. Yeah. We should go up there and. There's no way we could possibly find them. No, but it'd be cool. That was a long time ago. All right. Hey, <laughs> we're walking out of here. I'm coming back with my kids to do some hot tent camping, but other than the tarp and the hammock, that's my uh, that's my camp setup. So it'll be easy for me just to carry it back out. We're done. We're walking out of Tickville. Thanks for coming along and hanging out with us, guys. We'll see you later. Say bye, Steve. Bye, Steve.